Andrew and Katie, you have professed your love to one another, declared vows to each other and all your friends and family. You have even given each other a ring to wear for the rest of your life. As a minister of the gospel, I now pronounce you husband and wife. What has been joined together, let no man tear apart. You may now kiss the bride. strongest um, people that I know and we come from a long line of strong women who have taught us how to be strong and independent and confident and courageous um, and I have no doubt that Katie could have gone through life just that way independent but she doesn't have to anymore I love you so much and I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Today, you not only become my husband, but my best friend for life, my soulmate forever, and my one true love. On our first date, we watched a Packer game together and I suddenly knew that I needed to care a lot more about football. <laughs> Over the next few months of us dating, I felt a page turn in my life. I discovered that I wanted to be a part of your life and Lily's, and then I met your family and I instantly knew I wanted to marry you. It was here in this backyard, sitting on this beautiful lake, that I asked your parents' blessing to marry you. Your mom's tears raised the lake level that day. One of the best things I notice you guys have going for you is you both have parents that have been married for a long time. They have a lot to offer you guys. And you have all these people here that are here to support you, to help you guys start out. You both are better together, but you'll gain a lot from support of friends and family as they commit to go through this life together with you also. Andrew, I was like, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> They're way too much opposites. There's just no way. It's like, 
<laughs> but I, I, it, it is true opposites do attract. Anyone that has run into Andrew knows how uh, the second you meet him, you know you want to hang out with him, you know you want to be around him, and he's a fun time. I am so happy, Katie, that I don't have to worry about you because I know that you're going to have someone to always love and care for you. Even though you could do it alone, the beauty of marriage is that you don't have to anymore. In our time as husband and wife, I vow to always let you know how truly loved you are, even if that means accepting inopportune hugs every morning for the rest of my life. <laughs> I vow to always be honest with you and to communicate my feelings with you. I will encourage and support all of your efforts. I promise to help you cultivate your already amazing stepdad skills, but to let you and Lily develop your own relationship too. I will always love watching the love you two have for each other. I vow to support your interests and to nourish your passion. I will work hard with you to create a life we can share together. I will follow your dreams and hope to create a smile on your face every day. I vow to remain loyal to you physically, emotionally, and spiritually. I vow to take you seriously when you need to be taken seriously and to laugh with you the rest of the time. I will always remind you to make time for yourself and your happiness. I promise to let myself trust you with my heart entirely. I vow to always be down to go on adventures with you and to do everything in my power to make sure that we continue to be a happy family forever. I vow to create a household for you and Lily, a household of love, forgiveness, and protection. And I vow to remain by your side as we grow old together. I may even learn how to play cards someday. <laughs> I promise to stay faithfully by your side through whatever storms life may throw our way. And in our time as husband and wife, I promise to let you open all of the pickle jars and reach all of the things on high shelves. <laughs> I will love you forever and I promise to be the best wife I possibly can because you deserve it. For the rest of my life, I will love you unconditionally and without hesitation. I will grow with you and we will create a family filled with love, trust, and laughter. Katie, you're not only my fiance and soon to be wife, but you're also my best friend. You've brought me so much happiness in life and I truly feel I am marrying the most beautiful girl of my dreams. Now, at this beautiful location, and in front of your gathered friends and family, I now pronounce you husband and wife. What has been joined together, let no man tear apart. You may now kiss the bride. Mr. and Mrs. Scully. I think it's just time to party. <laughs>